Good morning, everyone. Today we are concluding our Fruit of the Spirit lessons. And so to do that, I thought I'd find nine fruits, because there's nine fruits of the Spirit, and get them all in this bowl. So what I have today are, I have a banana, probably my favorite fruit. I have an orange. I have an apple. I have a pear. I have a peach. I have grapes, another one of my faves. I have a plum. I have strawberries, yum. And I have this. Anybody know what this is? This is a kiwi, kiwi fruit. So, fruit, as you know, or you should know, is good for you. They're sweet. Most of the time, they're very sweet things, and they're very good for you. Like, let's see, like this orange. Oranges have a lot of vitamin C in them, and that helps you with colds, runny noses, and sore throat because of the stuff that's in an orange. Or an apple. An apple, you've all heard, well, maybe you've heard the phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, which is kind of a reminder to try to eat fruit every day, which we all should do. So I thought I would find some fun information about each of these fruits. So some of them are fun, some of them are just interesting. So here we go. Apple. An apple can brighten your teeth. Interesting. Because they have a certain acid in them that scrubs away all the residue on your teeth. So that's kind of a cool thing about apples. They can help clean your teeth. Oranges. Now I never knew this. Probably some of you did because you're smart kids. So oranges typically have 10 segments in each orange, like 10 sections. Never really realized that. I don't eat oranges, so I never really counted the sections. But next time you have an orange, see if there's 10 sections in it. Grapes. This is an interesting one. There are a lot of varieties of grapes. And there's even a variety that tastes just like cotton candy. Interesting, I don't know what kind that is, but maybe you can do some investigating on Google and find out which one tastes like cotton candy. Pears, pears, their nickname is the butter fruit. And you know why? Because the fruit has a soft buttery texture. So it's called the butter fruit. That's interesting. Strawberries, I never heard this one before either. Maybe some of you have. There are 200 little seeds on an average strawberry. Now, parents, if your kids are bored this week, go out and buy some strawberries and see if they can count 200 seeds on each one. That'll be a time filler. Plums. When dried, when a plum is dried, they are called prunes. I probably knew that, but I never kind of put two and two together. Dried plums are called prunes. My mother always called me a prune. I don't know why. Peaches. Peaches are fuzzy. You all know that. They're kind of fuzzy. If they weren't fuzzy, they'd be called nectarines. So that's why there's a difference there. Interesting. Kiwi. I read this online. This is interesting. Parents, take note. If you have two kiwi fruits an hour before bedtime, it will help you fall asleep faster, sleep more soundly, and feel better when you get up in the morning. I don't know why I said parents take note. Maybe I was thinking for the kids, but maybe the parents would rather have to have the kiwi before they go to bed. And one thing about a banana, never really thought about this, but you cannot drown a banana. You throw a banana in the water, it floats. Just something interesting about bananas. So, as we finish up our lessons on fruit of the spirit, let me put these back in our bowl. The Bible tells us that when we truly put our faith in Jesus, when we truly do, the Holy Spirit fills us with God's love and produces some good fruit in us. Um, for example, if you see an apple tree, you expect to find an apple, right? When you see someone who is filled with the Holy Spirit, 
supposedly, you would expect to find that fruit in them, right? You expect to see what the Bible calls the fruit of the Spirit. And what are these fruits of the Spirit? If we're supposed to have Christ in our lives, what are these fruits of the Spirit? And I'm going to show you some signing for each one too. The fruit of the Spirit is love. Do them with me. Is love. Joy, like belly laughs. Joy. Peace. Patience. It's like you're covering your mouth, sealing your mouth so you don't say something you shouldn't. Patience. Kindness. Put your hands by your heart and kindness just pours out from your heart. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness. Goodness. Faithfulness. You make two okay signs and you go, faithfulness. Faithfulness gentleness it's not like this it's not that's not gentle it's gentleness and self-control is like the reins of a horse self-control those are the fruits of the spirit and those are good fruits aren't they if we have christ in us we should be able to show these fruits somehow sometimes i don't think i have the fruit of patience but you know what pastor brian reminded us that when we find ourselves maybe exhibiting one of those fruits we should stop and thank God that we were just able to do that with his help. So I love bananas. So in fact, I'll probably eat this one for lunch. There's another kind of banana too. Look at this one. Which one would you rather eat? Would you rather eat this one or this one? Would you want to eat that one? Of course you wouldn't because this one is getting kind of soft and mushy and rotten. And we want to throw that banana away. We just want to, sometimes we can be like these two kinds of fruits. On the one hand, we have people who do bad things and make us feel sad. And on the other hand, we have people who like to do good things, who like to help others and be kind to others, like good fruit. Which fruit do you think God wants us to be like? The good fruit or that bad fruit I threw against the wall a couple minutes ago? Right. God wants us to be good fruit and filled with all these good fruits that he gives us of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Seems overwhelming on our own, right? And with the Holy Spirit giving these to us and helping us, we can do this. Matthew 7 reminds us that we are known by our fruits, which means if people see these good fruits in you, these love, joy, peace fruits in you, they're going to wonder, I wonder if that person is a child of God. It sure seems like it. So let's make sure that others know us by the fruits of the Spirit we have in us. And that is your children's talk for today.